I gotta pin it down, tighten it, and loosen it. Really, really, really terrible design for an RBA head. Why is it that Kangertech five years ago had a better design than something that Smoke made for a current product that they have now? What's going on everybody, Jay Hayes here. Today I'm gonna be doing a review and I don't even know why people want me to do this. Like, I don't understand, I really don't, but I, I guess there's somewhat of a demand for this. This isn't gonna be a long video, it's gonna be fairly short. And basically all it is, is me showing you this little jammy right here. It's an RBA head for the RPM40. The Dot AIO, conveniently enough, which is an all-in-one, it's not uh, so much of a pod device. And you know what's odd is, whenever I post a video of a pod-style device, everybody's like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, you should be... Well, listen, if China... Okay, you have to understand, if China is not making things for me to buy, I can only review what they send me that's coming out in the future, or what's available. That's the only way that I have means to get things. So I, I just wanna clear that up because people see the things like the RPM and they're like, oh, that's a pod style device. I can't do just drippers if drippers are not coming out. You have to understand that watching this. And then someone requested me do the review on this and then compare this to the Vinci. Wow, talk about a severe ask. Yeah, cause okay. All right, anyway, back in the day, Smoke used to make products, and I want to say that that was probably the first company with the original TFE4, how it came with an RBA head, and it was something that you traditionally saw with a lot of rebuildables. But then that died down, and they started selling the rebuildable heads as an option because some people didn't care for it, and they felt like it was just a waste of a material putting inside of the box that no one gave a shit about, and now you have these. Here's my issue with the RPM40 in an RBA head. Well, here's my issue with any all-in-one type device that uses a built-in battery. While you may get this, everything will be great. Eventually, that battery won't hold the charge anymore. It's not like, you know, an 18650 that you could take out and put it back in and take out, put a different battery in, and then essentially recycle it. But you, with these devices, you build this RBA head. First off, it's only going to be good for that device. Look at it on the bottom. 260, I'm trying to tell you, Bree uses the hell out of these things. Why is there a hit count, Jay? Well, so I could know how much Bree is wasting her time hitting my devices. That's why there's a hit count. Because if there wasn't, she'd be like, oh, I didn't even use that. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Okay, so what I had to do was I bought her a white one with some rainbow sprinkles and shit on the side. So I knew that that was hers and this is mine. But mine's already got hit. However, I can reset that. But I won't. I'll leave it big because I want to see how many hits I'll get out of this device to where the battery no longer holds a charge. It's four digits. That's probably not going to work. Anyway, I'm going to bring this down show everything inside this little itty bitty box. It's an RBA head for the RPM40. It's not going to be long. So without further ado, flip it. Moke RPM RBA coil. Again, there's really not a whole lot to go over. This is for this device with the RPM, not the Nord attachment. Let that be known right now. These are cross compatible with each other. Again, does not apply to the Nord little section. And don't buy this hoping that you can rebuild the Nord pod that you already have. So on the side of the box, whatever, I really don't need to go over any of these details. They're all really small schematics, but the color and the flavor of this is absolutely delightful at plastic carbon fiber Kevlar flavor and scented and color. Very nice little pillbox, if you will. First peripheral pouch, you're going to get a little itty bitty plug, a 10 size screwdriver and some two O-rings and it looks like a little post screw. Yeah, I feel like this is just going to be a really small deck. And then, of course, you get your RBA head right here all by itself in its own little package. Don't know how you expect to put this on something unless, of course, this part. Let's see here. That may be a little bit of a problem. To heat this up to break this in is not going to be an option. There is no attachment for this at all. You would think that that's something that they would have thought of when they were making this. Is Let's make something. Unless, of course, you unscrew this on the bottom and then do it. 
I doubt that very much. No, nope, nope, nope. Definitely not that. Usually when you get an RBA head for a sub ohm tank, it would thread in, then you keep the base on, then you fire it up like you would an RTA. But because of the way that this is designed, there is nothing to screw this onto to adjust it. You're going to have to do a space coil like you see here, which is extremely simple because usually those will heat up from the center out. Really no way to tell, though, because there's nothing to it. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe you could just keep it like this and then heat it up, but you're not going to be able to see it. Wow, that is a terrible afterthought. They could have made this section here where it screws onto the bottom as well and then screws into a 510. There's a couple billet box bridges that do that, but they didn't do that with this. So I, I literally can't even heat this up to use it. I will see if this is Canthal and then possibly use that. Um... And it is not. That is a nichrome. So I'm definitely not going to use that at all. So I'm not going to... See, there's nothing even to, to, to put this on to remove this. This is a 30 gauge is what I'm going to use. We're going to go super, super thin here. 2.5. Regular round. Now I'll show you what I like to do. I'm going to give you a little tutorial real quick on how to do a regular build and make it perfect. So even if you make it all jacked up like you see me doing right here, right? You see this? All right. Now that's 30 gauge. To even this out is real simple. You just take this. Go like that. You see that? It's close enough. See? And then you just pinch it again. That's it. I mean, that's pretty damn close to perfect. Regular round. 30 gauge. Can't tell. That is not tightening down. Awesome. Right, guys, it's extremely difficult to work on this because I have nothing to set this down on. Let's fucking screw. Son of a bitch. I'm not going to be able to use that. We're going to have to use 26. 30 is not going to work because the screws that are on this are very shitty for what they are. Even not knowing how to do wraps is totally fine. Just like that. Right, all sporadic. You want to get that perfect? Just take it right here, push it all together. You see that? And you want to kind of pull that to make it tighter. And once you make it tighter, it should stick. Very, very simple, easy way to do space coils. And push it together one more time. See that? Easy. Keep in mind that these screws are extremely shungati. Like they're just, they're not designed very well. You can see that they don't go all the way flush. They have that kind of pyramid at the end. I would zoom in a little bit more, but I'm not able to. It's just a really, really, really terrible design for an RBA head. Hopefully this should work because the wire is a bit thick. Yeah, that should work right there. See that? Yep, no problems. Then what you could do to space it out a little bit more to make it perfect, take a little screwdriver, just kind of put it in there. Again, I have no way to fire that up, so I'm just going to kind of wick it. Now we're just going to let that sit for a little bit, let that saturate again. No way to ramp that up, to heat that up or nothing. There you can see that it is picking up at a one ohm build. RBA head for the RPM 40. Let's bring it on the top. Back on top with the RBA head, even though it does not matter the default thumbnail for this. Let's talk about this. Listen, I'm that guy that backs up smoke all the time. Smoke's doing this good, they're doing that good, you're doing this good. Why is it that Kangertech five years ago had a better design than something that smoke made for a current product that they have now? Let me tell you something. If you're going to buy this, listen to what I'm saying to you. You always want me to use a device or, well, not so much anymore. Everybody always wants me to use a device back in the day. You know, oh, put it through its courses, see what's at. You can't even put this on a device to make sure that the coils are heating up properly. You can use the argument and do it spaced only. Well, then you can't do a fuse clap then. Again, take the sub tank from five years ago by Kanker Tech 
who is now defunct, or whatever it is they're doing, it, no one else knows, but take that company, take that RBA head, listen, why is it that this RBA head right here is better, okay, than what Smoke made today? There's no room. Oh, okay. All right. Have you seen the original Kango Tech sub tank? Right. I'm not hearing it, man. I'm not hearing it. I don't like the idea that I can't screw this into something. Why don't you have an adapter? Did you just do it on the rush rush because everybody wants the RBA head? This is what happens when companies do absolutely zero research and development. Zero. I don't even want to vape this. But I'm going to vape it so we can see how it vapes. Even though I don't even know if the coils are heating up right. That's at one watt. We're going to get nowhere fast. 1.03 is what that little uh, round wire, 28 gauge, 5 wraps. Here we go. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Uh, but let me tell you this. If you don't know how to build... You saw the little itty bitty piece of cotton, little itty bitty piece of cotton. Looks like it belongs at the end of a Q-tip. Not even that much. Way too much cotton. Now you got to use less. It infuriates me that a company is going to sell this and say to somebody, hey, you're buying a device. You're getting into quitting smoking. So you're buying a vape product. Let's make an RBA head that you will not know how to fucking build because this is going to be for experienced builders only. I get it. You could use the argument and say, well, just because somebody buys it doesn't mean they're going to do an RBA head for it. Like, like a consumer. I understand that. That's why it doesn't come with it. It also doesn't come with it because it's fucking retarded. Like, why would you make a product that you, I can't even screw this onto anything. I got to pin it down I tighten it and loosen it and then you know, the finger fuck the wire around it and then hope to God that that is working right when I put the cotton in it. That's like putting gasoline on the roof of your car hoping it ends up in the gas tank. What? What are you thinking while you're making this? Oh, that'll fit in there. Did you just take an old ass coil and just cut it in half and just put two screws on it? Because clearly you could take the post apart by the screw underneath. You could have made another thing that screwed in it that would attach to it. Oh my God. Smoke, you guys fucked up. That's it. You screwed the pooch, the horse, and the donkey on this one. The whole farm, you fucked it. That's what you did. That's it. Oh, great. This is so cool. Does it work? Yes. Guess what else works? When I put a thong on. But do I wear one? Yes. Not the point. The point is, oh my God, yo. If you buy this because you want your shit to be better, go to your friend that's smoking a cigarette and just inhale whatever he's blowing out. Such a stupid, and it's not even like, like, I don't like it. That's why I'm pissed off. I don't like it because you can't do anything with it. The screws are smaller on this than they are on the Kangertech RBA head from the sub tank. Didn't you make the TFV4 rebuildable head? What? Oh, shut up. Just... Whatever forms you need to file for bankruptcy, do that. I've kept it real. Fuck smoke. Jay Hayes out.